The Biodesign Lab is a new platform at the HFG. It wants to reflect on the relationship and the impact we have now on our environment, because we all know um, today our actions and our life in general has direct impact on the planet. So dealing with the finite resources is increasingly relevant. And therefore our aim should be to have a transition from a linear to a circular economy. And that would mean to prevent waste and to rethink the economy today works. Therefore, uh, the Biodesign Lab wants to invite thinkers and makers, for example, students, professors, but also um, external um, designers, biologists and researchers to interact with these themes. Then the lab would become a kind of a workshop or a laboratory for experimentation and discussion. And um, we can connect uh, in this way the students, workshops, partners and experts. Some questions we would like to investigate would be how can we print with algae, for example, or can we make sound out of biological processes, or is it possible to make our own sustainable materials for a new HFG interior, for example. The Biodesign Lab is placed very present in the Lichthof of the HFG, so it's visible and accessible not only for all the departments of the university, but also for visitors from the ZKM who pass by on their way to the exhibitions. That means that projects that are created here can be directly presented to a broad audience and it becomes possible to um, enter into conversations with interested people uh, passing by and inspire them with the research that takes place here. Our lab is uh, basically characterized by uh, the region it is embedded. Um, we asked ourselves um, what are the resources in terms of material but also in terms of knowledge um, and what are the possibilities we can work with uh, in our direct environment. So we started a research on the local region and the resources you can find here and also on the craftsmanship and the industry that emerged through those resources they can find here. And with uh, what we found, uh, we started to create a network uh, with companies, initiatives, uh, but also with other universities like the KIT. And this network should grow constantly and we would like to connect um, students and professors from the HFG with uh, external experts and um, the knowledge and the experiences that we gain from this collaborative um, pro projects um, should then bundle in this uh, biodesign lab. And uh, first, the first traces of those exchanges uh, can already be found here in the biodesign lab uh, in our little material uh, library where we show um, materials that um, characterize um, this region. Some of these results already uh, can be already found in our small material library. And we, for example, have tobacco in this region. You may not th uh, think so, but um, uh, in the past it was a really, there was a really um, large industry around tobacco. And today there is still a, a research institute uh, which is placed in Forchheim and they uh, provided us with some uh, tobacco. And um, to show how you can use it, for example, we have a sample from a studio which is called High Society Studio and they made a, a new plastic with tobacco. Um, another one, um, this is a new local resource. This is a Japanese knotweed and it is new because it is an invasive species, which means it's a plant um, that's uh, non-local and it kind of settled here and it is really strong and fast growing and um, can have negative effects on other plants and habitats. So um, yeah, in Germany, uh, you can maybe also say it's kind of a Unkraut, which needs to be removed. So why not use it for uh, as a resource for new materials?
due to the current situation, uh, it became more and more evident that the Biodesign Lab should not only be a physical place, but should also appear in the digital world. Um, so it was important for us to develop something like a digital tool uh, that serves as an archive, but also as a research platform where ideas, questions and answers can be shared and stored. So together with uh, Simon Knebel, we developed a website and there um, you can find uh, also a material library uh, which is filled with uh, material fact sheets that are filled out by our local experts. Um, we show inspiring uh, projects by um, designers and artists um, who give an insight of their uh, process and their research. And we have also some interviews with those designers on the website. And uh, through digital workshops, we invite visitors of the website to become active themselves. They can learn, for example, how to uh, cultivate algae or how to cook material at home in their own kitchen or how to read um, the, the soil in their own garden. Um, yes. I'm working here in the Biodesign Lab and um, what I'm doing is I'm experimenting with limestone. So the southern region of Germany is really famous uh, with limestone caves. And um, what I'm trying to do is like uh, imitating the technique of a dripstone and uh, taking this like really time taking uh, process of dripping stones and to use it for design or for like material researches. And um, I'm working therefore with uh, natrium chloride and on the other side with uh, calcium carbonate. I have three experiments here. The first one is a machine um, which I built. It's a prototype uh, to rebuild the process of uh, dripping stones. So what it's doing actually is um, I have here a bottle of water with calcium uh, hydroxide and it's constantly dripping. And what, uh, what the, the aim of it is uh, to, to build a real dripping stone. So I want to fasten the process of a dripping stone which normally takes like 10,000 years or more and what I want to do is like using um, the chemical advances of, um, of this laboratory to um, fasten the process. And on the other side I'm trying to make some material researches so when I use the calcium, uh, calcium carbonate um, on other materials like wood or stone, um, I want to I want to experiment how the the calcium carbonate is fitting on the stone itself and probably could shape uh, new forms and textures and um, products. And uh, the last experiment is here, which is um, made with uh, salt water. And so I created a salt water a dripping machine, which is pretty simple and normally used for experiments uh, in school, for example, to explain um, how natrium chloride works. And um, I use this pretty simple technique to try to um, shape new forms of salt. So we're really happy that we could recently just offer our first physical workshop here in the Biodesign Lab. So together with the ZKM, the Klima Collective and Severin Geisler, he is a student from the um, Communication Design Department here, we offered a workshop where we printed and produced um, protest posters for the climate strike which took place here in Karlsruhe. And so with different techniques like the silk screen printing and stamps or airbrush techniques, we um, produced those posters just with natural components. So we used algae, um, beet or red garbage to produce those posters. And it was actually really nice because we had really different um, visitors here from external, like families, children or students from the school here. We um, created those atmosphere to um, print those posters. And at the Driving the Human Festival, we are hosting a workshop with Kim Andre Langer, one of our former students from Product Design, where we are actually producing packaging material out of biocomposites, which actually grow in your garden. And during the seminar, uh, during the semester, we have 
different um, projects, for example, from media department, we, where we cr try to create bacteria batteries or hosting film screenings. For example, right here we have one example poster we created at the workshop we offered. And here we have um, algae color, um, which was thickened up a bit so we could use it for the silk screen printing process. And this poster is um, yeah, made on here with the um, Japanese knotweed stick we have. So we have actually a poster which is made out of complete, yeah, that's your uh, natural material here. Uh, we also have an Instagram account where we share our activities, um, which you can follow and um, see what's happening here and uh, which workshops we, we offer to you. So you're welcome to see what's happening here.